what I do as a futurist <laughs> is I research emerging technology and trends, and then I forecast how these trends are going to develop and converge, and then how they'll impact businesses and communities and organizations. So then I can partner with those businesses to help them understand what they need to do today to be successful in the future. I feel my job is very important as a futurist because so often business leaders are so focused on their day-to-day -day metrics, their competition, you know. Their employees, HR issues that they don't really have time to take a step back and really think about what's going to happen in my industry in two years, what's going to happen in my industry in six months. So as a futurist, that's what I do. I can take a step back and really take a, a broader look and then partner with them. As you can see, there are lots and lots of examples. These are just a couple of what happens when executives get too caught up in their day-to-day -day business and they're not thinking about what's going to happen in the future. Did you know, Blockbuster in the year 2000 had multiple opportunities. To purchase Netflix for fifty million dollars, fifty million dollars. The market cap on Netflix as of close of business yesterday was eleven billion, and you all know where Blockbuster is right now. <laughs> so, but as you can see, forecasting the future can be very difficult. These people should have definitely known better. <laughs> so, <laughs> my favorite here is the iPhone's impact on our business will be minimal. From the CEO of RIM in two thousand seven. How many iPhones in the room right now? <laughs> How many Blackberries? If you're embarrassed, you don't have to raise your hand. But okay, <laughs> I think maybe he he didn't see that one coming. And one of the reasons it's so difficult to to forecast the future is that our minds naturally think linearly. So if we're thinking about what's going to happen in my business in my industry in a year, if we're even thinking about it, we're kind of projecting out this you know gradual improvements. But technology for decades has been advancing exponentially. So you have things are doubling. The technologies are doubling and doubling and doubling. So the further out that we're thinking, the bigger the gap between what's reality and what we're expecting.